big baby. A guy. Three year old, size of a teenager, with a ball. And with a teddy in his hands. Better behaved than the three year old. Mm. Sometimes better behaved than the three year old. Leamington Harbour. Mm. There's a swan there, did you? Where's the swan gone? In there. Seriously, with a bum here. Let's walk up the street a bit and then you come into the pie shop. This one here. The sun's set already pretty much, or it's already gone yeah. down. You're not doing trying to go shush. Okay. Doing nicer looks. <coughs> I think the the walk that goes along this path and round there, which I got on the drone yesterday, I think in the far corner you can see the needles. Well, now he's going to go grab Bella and have a quick snap. That's that's, that's so peaceful. That's a bully. Apart from, apart from that's him. That's a bully. That's Ryan. What's the bully? Ryan. That's not a bully. Ryan. That's a light jacket. That's a light jacket. It's hard to talk. I'm pretty sure his mouth is attached to his feet. Just left Lemington or Lymington. Yacht Haven, just there. Had lovely two night stay, very peaceful, very calm, no nuggets driving by in dinghies at 100 miles an hour. So boat didn't move around, so it was lovely, really peaceful. We'll stay again or visit again, especially to the pasty shop. That was fantastic. What do you think of the pasties, babe? Oh, she's busy. Target. So what we thought we'd do today is just pop over to Newtown Creek and have a little look to see if we can stop. Maybe stop the night, don't know. Haven't decided that bit yet. Um, uh, still unsure about anchoring overnight. It, it depends if there's a pickup boy or not. What do you think of the pasty shop, babe? That is absolutely delicious. See, it's not just a chubby one, that's her as well. Mine's a pasty. Fantastic. You, every look at this video, guys, from Minds of Pasty, Sterling job. We'll be there again because we can drive to that. Ah, that's my toe. Um, yeah, bit of a bit of wind, not a lot. Um, hopefully, it won't chop up like it did the other day and smash the boat up and everything else in it. Um, didn't realise until late last night, but if you walk along the outside of this jet, this piece here, um, you can walk from the marina to here, and then walk around the outside, you can actually see the needles, and I don't know if you can see the needles in the distance there, I think it's the needles, well that bit you can see now probably isn't, but um, when you're standing up on the side you can see it, um, you can see the light house on the end um, so uh, you know a bit of walking the other direction we, we kept walking into town whereas if we had gone that way we could have seen some nice scenery maybe lots of boats out
Didn't realise there's pickup boys here, look. Looks like there's more than boys have. I don't know if they have visitor ones. Six mile an hour or six knot speed limit up to the wooden pillars there, basically. Then four knots after that, for anyone that doesn't know or hasn't seen. Um, so basically, just as you go past Leamington Yacht Haven, it's um, it's there. I've been told the Haven as a restaurant is really nice, but it's a bit too much money for us. We can't afford that. The um, cheapest thing on the menu was £17, and that was a uh, mushroom risotto or something. This is, um, we've, got, we've got Mrs. Chef here who, who won't pay that. She'll just cook something like it. And I definitely won't pay it because I can't afford it. I cook my chicken adobo. Again. Adobo. You're a adobo queen. Oh, yes, I am indeed. Yeah. No one can get my chicken adobo. Bella's loving it. She's sitting there all nice and peaceful. Better watch what I'm doing. There's a little dinghy floating about. Speak to him a bit. Castle. We went and see it obviously in part two on the bus, so we weren't going to go to Wastefield to go to it this time round. Um, still on limited budget, clearly, you know, we, we can't just burn fuel just for hell of it. Um, it's cheaper by a bus than it was in the boat. Um, it would be nice to go down there one day and anchor. Targa, we be tigering. Ocean Boulevard, let me see over. Ocean Boulevard, let me see Yep, we are in the far um, north corner. Um, if you look to the building, uh, the Marina Office building, you the front of that. Over. Just listen to radio. Just turn that down now. There he is. Ad boy. Gotta try and get Bella to use that mat somehow. Obviously not up there, but we've got to get out of the pack a bit. Every time we get those grass mat things out, all she does is pluck all the grass out of it. So that's not going to work in a minute. Lovely view, lovely day. Bit of wind behind me at the minute, so that's quite handy. Hopefully not holding anything up. Get you back in a minute. Yachts. 
just had an axe bar, axe and spar thing come past like a scolded cat. They look fun. Lovely, isn't it? Ah. Yes. Gorgeous. I'm very disappointed with the dolphins. I've not made a show yet. I expect green to see. Water. Huh? It's a green water. Yeah. Water. Yeah. Water. I expect the dolphins to make a show, and by now, I'm very disappointed with them. I'm putting a complaint to the uh, to the dolphin department. A big sandbar hanging off that, isn't it? Yes, Doesn't look like sand, doesn't it? What's in here? Nothing. Nothing. It's just like really nice, peaceful yes. anchorage, you know. It is bloody stone, isn't it? Yeah, it is stone. It looks sand in it for a minute. When you look at it quite far, it's the line of sand down. Yeah, I'm trying to mind him. We've got a fair bit of water under us at the minute, but... What happens if you're going to be low this one? We have to get out later. Yeah. Idea to doing it. Yeah, so you can get in and out on low tide, you've got to stay in the bloody middle. So just watch what I'm doing. Well, we made the balls up of the anchoring. I don't know whether we're going to go run aground or not. But we're stopped. We're still. I think we, I think we have to. Needless to stay no fish but then we're only playing fishing not really fishing fishing but what a lovely view eh there's people swimming and if i had a ladder on the back that i felt safe about getting a big fat git back in the boat with then i'd get out and go for a swim because cold doesn't bother me just to get back in that bothers me and the bathing platform is actually surprisingly high from the water. And yes, there is a ladder hole, but the ladder's missing. Oh, hello. Hi, Bella. Hello, hello, Bella. 
Bella. Are you living your life, Bella? Yes. Is your daddy catch fish already? Yes. No. no. What about Ryan? Ryan catch the crab? No. No. Back it there. Oh dear. Bella catch crabs. Bella catch crabs. No. Crab, Ryan. Huh? Crabs. Let's have a little paddle in the dinghy, but it's got a little punch on the tube and have a float past Jade. And once again, Ryan's moaning. No leaving Newtown Creek, we're not going to stay the night, we're going to go back to Southampton. Just uh, spend a few days just like loafing about up there. That is Newtown Creek. Top. Bloody lovely. I won't have a clue where you are in the world. Nothing to do, just relaxing, just all oh, be in here an hour. Couple hours, yeah. couple hours. Set a bite to eat, throw your rod out, couldn't cork anything, so there's no change there. Uh, it would be nice, I don't know if anyone's listening really or paying attention to what I'm saying. If you know where there's a beach that's sand that you can anchor off and then go out in a dinghy to a sandy beach, let me know where that is in the Solent area, will you? Because I'm desperate for a bit of sand in this area. I'm from East Anglia, which is covered in white sandy beaches or yellow sandy beaches. And there just is, it's just all stone here. So if you know where there is one, let me know. I won't share it. I just <laughs> don't know if you can private message me fair, but um, you know, do what you can. But here we go back. Plot is on. Yeah, look at that water. It's like absolute picturesque, isn't it? It's like in a painting. Daddy. But. This cloud here, just like in a painting. Yeah, I know. Just put this one here. Take a picture of your phone. <coughs> Hang on. Ryan, I'll just pause phone. the video and just take some pictures. Here we are, just trundling along the coastline of Isla White, just from Newtown Creek. I think Egyptian point, cows. Ryan's chilling at the front, holding on for dear life. Cause Captain Mummy's driver. For a change. For a change. I need to get my hat because I lost my hat when I got out of the dinghy. <laughs> We're only doing seven and a half knots. Just no worry. No fuel. <laughs> chilling out. Back at the sea, into gorgeous, keep left, and know what that is. Keep left, babe. That's an emergency wreck. That's an emergency wreck, boy. I don't know if you can see that. What the hell is that emergency wreck and need boy in? That's like 
20 meters of water. It looks miles away on the camera, but it's only about 50 feet away. Stay left. I'm not sure what bay that is. We'll have to look up which bay that is. A couple of boats anchored off. Nice new ones. Looks like something targery looking down that way. Boats on the shore down there. Not so many bits of confetti around today. And the sea is lovely. Great stuff. Gunnard Bay or Head was the one that was back there. The um, thing I just started videoing again, obviously, I think this is cows just here. Not sure what this is, whether this is what we call Egyptian Point or whatever, because we've never been down there. But that big grey blob there is a, is a Royal Navy vessel or a Navy vessel. Looking rather big and stealthy. And then there's a fairly big multi mast about there. Yeah, just cutting across Solent now. Uh, Beauty, Beauty entrance is over here somewhere. Commoners mark. How are you getting on, Baba? I'm going all right, but I don't know where I'm going. I can't see any sign. I know where you're going. You're going that <laughs> way. I know. I got sign in here, but oh my god, you know the scribble in there. We can zoom in a little bit. Axiom screen, I do like them. Apart from when the power fell apart on the way <laughs> to Yarmouth. Yeah, much... Broken wire of all things and not my doing. It was actually Fairlines doing dodgy chocolate block and um wire had broke behind the panel, the main fuse panel. Well, maybe not Fairlines, who knows? It's, uh, it could have been an addition, but it, it was a red power cable to sockets, and I've just used the socket. I don't use a socket, so I use the power for it. Yeah, great, we must be on the water. Yeah, there's cows, and there's the breakwater. That boat looks fairly big, whatever it is. Can we see that on the AIS? Don't know if Navy ships are on AIS, I don't, for obvious reasons. Be a silly thing to have on, wasn't it, for a Navy boat? AIS, here I am, come and find me, shoot me. No, you're all right, Bubba. You're doing all right. It's a wee bit yeah, a little, little tiny bit more throttle. And more left turn, Clyde. How was that? Ryan's. There you go. I don't know, but you're turning a funny angle. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I'm the driver over there, I think. Panic. I'll do it. Still no dolphins. 
The order of a dolphin viewing has failed on our holiday. Should have uh, should have been now, but they just failed to appear. Red funnel on its way out of cows. Navy boats going into Portsmouth, obviously. We're going into Southampton Water. Believe it's a coal shop in front of us. Still only there, mate. Eight knots. Chuck a sail up. Do a bit. What I just mentioned, I always forget this this marker boy, the poor boy, and I end up cutting across that corner, and the depth really does come up quite quickly. I, mean, I, I dare say there's enough water for this boat because it only draws 1.2 meters so it's bugger all really, pretty much dry and spit but um, it, I don't, you know, it depends on the depth of your hull and all the rest of the rubbish but it, when you cut that corner that could cause you problems so don't do it and also this tiny boat is nearly invisible. You can see the guy with the blue mask clearly, the blue sails, blue and white sails just to the right of him, and right on my nose now, is a tiny little yacht, no sails up, no nothing, just literally bathtub with a mast, and it's just it's like nearly impossible to see. So, um, you know, keep your eyes out, all the way, isn't it? Save ourselves with the blue and white sail guy and go to starboard here. You can see the little boat now, just the little side, you can see the side of it. But it's so low profile in the water, it's blended into the chop, and it's not that choppy. Not that choppy. Oh, yeah, someone's working on the water. No, it's just kayaks, isn't it? Yeah, just probably having a picnic. The yacht was doing quite well. Um, Van Vark Var 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 or something like that, his name, and it's, um, we're only doing like eight knots or so, but he was easy to keep pace with us. So he's um, cruising along for free. But not too bad a speed at all. Facebook, 
which made perfect sense in a way. Um, I said, like, if you're still pulling two and a half thousand RPM, and that's what you used to do 20 knots at, and you're not doing it anymore, but it's pulling two and a half thousand RPM, then it's not the engine, and that makes quite a lot of sense. So, I think I might have a dirty bum, um, or a damaged propeller, or no shit on the propellers, I don't know what. But, I'm going to stop looking at engine faults for a minute and think about using it and see if I clear it up or pull it out of the water or get in the water and have a little snout at it.
mean it's now going? Yeah, I know, but it takes 